kitabu ya Saburi osina tatu I'm reading fast four Psalms osina tatu tutasoma mstari wa kwaine Tumetulia, tumefungua hiyo Biblia ama tumeandika chini You can allow me to live in the name of the Lord. Biblia inasema, Even though I walk through the fire of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. You are not and star, they comfort me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decrease that you may increase in our life this afternoon. Thank you, Lord, because of this person of scripture. Father, as I stand before your people this afternoon, oh Lord, how, how I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that you may speak to each and every one of us, my Father, using the language that we can understand. I pray for your revelation, oh Lord. I pray for your touch, oh Lord. I pray for the presence of the Lord to come down, oh Lord. Let your Holy Ghost come down. Holy Spirit of God have your way upon our lives. In the name of the Lord, we bless you, love in Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen. Uh, to me, I'm going to go to the house and go to the house. Now, Leo, topic here to go to the house and go to the house. I'm going to go walking through the stones. Walking through the stones. Put a mare, cut it down, and sit on a put a mare, cut it down. Stones in the shida, ama yani wakati duruba sa maisha, shiko katika maisha yako, hiyo niyo nina maanisha. Kutembea katikati ya duruba sa maisha. Hallelujah. Amen. Mutu wa tusome kwa kiso hini. Stapi kwa cha lena tayuma. Let someone lead for us in kiso hini. Hmm. Na, nitaka kukua ninapita kama na kwenda na mahuti. Sitaogopa mabaya. Sitaogopa mabaya. Kwa maana wewe uko pamoja nami. Kwa maana wewe uko pamoja nami. Longo lako na fimbo yako unifarichi. Longo lako na fimbo yako unifarichi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ninajua wote Dawidi alikuwa ni mfame Dawidi Bibilia kuna maali neno la mungu linasema Iyeye alikuwa ni kipenzi Cha mungu, haleluya He was a friend to God Lakini wakati mingine Tukiangalia historia ya Dawidi Kuna wakati mingi ya maali Mara nyingi tunaona, kuna maali alikuwa na Pungukiwa na utukufu wa mungu Wakati alikuwa na mdana mungu dhani Kene tunafanya mungu Akaite Dawidi kipenzi Cha moyo wake ni kwamba Daudi kila wakati alipokuwa amefanya dhambi Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kila wakati wakati Daudi alikuwa amefanya dhambi, alikuwa mwepesi kwa kumhujia Bwana. Wenema in a field ya kwamba he has sinned before the presence of the Lord. He was ready for forgiveness. He was ready to ask for forgiveness. He was ready to be broken. Yaani alikuwa mtu wa kushuka. He was very humble asking for forgiveness. Alikuwa ali mtu ambaye amefunjana futika rais. Alikuwa mtu ambaye amefunjika rais kwa mba msamaa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ndio sababu wakati alikuwa anapitia hizo changamoto nimewaambia kwamba changamoto za Daudi zilikuwa nyingi. Lakini hapa anasema even though I walk through the fire of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even though I walk in the shadow of the fire of death, Fear no evil. Why? Because you are with me. Yes, man. When God is with you, you need not to fear. Whoever it can hear, when fear comes inside you, it will destroy you. In a in a man will be born now. In a dimia, you start fearing. You start looking for a place of escape. God is a civil. Whoever can hear, we shall. Unaweza kukosa amani. You lose peace in your life. Una unakosa una amani. Hauna hata hata energy ya kukula. Kitu kingine unaweza kutafuta njia ya kutoka. Unaweza kutafuta njia hata ya kukosa kwenye nyumba ya Mungu. Once hauna amani, once Mungu uko na uoga, unaona kila mtu amekuwa na wewe umekosa. Unaona kila mtu amekuwa na wewe hakuna kitu unaweza fanya. Yaani unakosa unaona kama they start rejection. 
wanasema watu wengine wanapofikia hiyo hali wanaamua kutoroka wanaamua wanaamua pale mafichoni wanaamua kuchishuza chini lakini Daudi anasema wakati alikuwa anapitia hizo changamoto atakana nitapitia ponde la mauti i will fear no evil why because you are with me amen who is with you god himself daudi alimundua ya kwamba katikati ya hizi akupoa peke yake katikati ya usiku akupoa peke yake katikati ya matish he was never alone
Sikuwa sisengi na sasa nifuatie. Lakini mambo mengine chini akapo kiposho kwake mpaka anataka kumpiga na yeye ame sasa hiyo wiki. Mtu mwenye amesifungua wiki hapo na nguvu ya kwenda. Na wala watu mambo ya watoto. Ili pitu ile mambo toki hapo mwenye. Sasa anaishi pale nyanjwa. Ndio anaoboleji anakuja hapa kwa sababu alikuwa anataka amani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Baada ya anachoambia wakati tunapitia hiyo chapa moto hata wakati tunapitia hizo vita tusite tukaokope neno mbona nataka nikatoka katika maisha yetu tufie tukianza kuogopa setani atatushinda tukianza kuogopa matarini yatatubeba tukianza kuogopa atakuwa na nguvu ya kutuikia mwana we will not ask that to strengthen to serve the lord tukitaka because all the time will be panicking all the time will be shaking The moment we give room to fear, we will not be able to withstand the enemy. The enemy will, uh, will overtake us. But the moment we will know that our God is on our side, God akiwa upande wetu, Mungu akiwa upande wetu, we need not to fear church. Because God is with us. Fimbo yake inatuongoza. It will guide us even if we are going to get in touch with Jesus. Nikamwambia this is something as ninaomba leo wacha kutupeke hakikisho unapata 
number six in the same month. The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do to me? Is for him. God is now at my side and I am not afraid. When I say you, I am not talking of yesterday. I am not talking of tomorrow. I am not speaking of today. Now we are ashamed. God is now on my side. I will not fear any evil. God is now on my side. I will not fear no evil. I am about to say, Ume Sam.